We are officially back on the road, guys. You guys won't believe where we are. We'll show you. So we're back in North Carolina, almost where we broke down the first time, but we did make it a little bit further and we stopped at a Walmart last night. This is our first morning waking up in the bus since we've gotten back on the road and it feels good to be back. We've got to put some miles between us and our like home base because we can't go back. No. <laughs> I'm so ready to stay on the road. So our plan for today is not to hang out at Walmart the whole time, but that's pretty much all we know. So I'm not sure what we'll get into, but we'll find out with you. You're kidding. Let's go. I'm really glad our brakes are in tip top shape right now. <laughs> this is our first time on the Blue Ridge Parkway. It is incredible. It looks so pretty. I just really hope our bus can make it. I guess as far to the back as you can, maybe. Sounds good. Alright, can I turn it off? Yeah. If you pulled farther forward, like, by an inch, I think I would have had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so scary. I think this is a great time to use our new wheel chocks. Yes, definitely. <laughs> old-timey forklift. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Dude, that's actually neat. Do you think we can find our same engine in this pile? <laughs> One of these has got to have it. I feel like our bus is old enough. A relic of the past. So as we were driving down the Blue Ridge Parkway, we saw a bunch of signs for gem mines. So we picked one and that's where we are right now. So we're at Emerald Village and we're in the Bonhomie Mine. I think that's French for good friends. They diverted a river when this was in use, but they stopped diverting it and so now it's filled with water. But they have a lot of the equipment here and you can see the entrance to both of the mines and that's actually where we're standing right now. We're inside the entrance to the mine. They're low voltage battery chargers for battery powered lights. That's crazy. Do you think we could have powered our bus off of those? I don't think we could have charged our camera off of one of these. <laughs> yeah, this place is really cool actually. You can see behind me the water level line when the mine was originally abandoned and the river flowed back into the mine and it filled back up another 14 to 20 feet, which they again had to divert when they wanted to build a museum here years later. But that does kind of mean like the blacksmith shop that they're showing us, it's probably not real, but it kind of gives you an image of what it might have been like when the mine was active. They do blacklight tours here on some weekends. There's a lot of fluorescent minerals, like behind me, I think this is opal, that glows green under blacklight. They also have other ones that glow pink, red, orange, and blue. We're not gonna make it for the blacklight tour, but I guess they do have this little demo behind me. To me, it kind of looks like glow-in-the-dark paint on some of these rocks, but I'm gonna take their word for it. It's highlight opal, apparently. I thought Jimmy and I were kind of primitive with our nature's head composting toilet, but this is the toilet that they used in the mines. It's like on a cart and everything. They have rainbow trout in this water, so we're trying to keep our eyes peeled. Oh! Right there. Right there. He's going to the light, so you might be able to see him. The 
main purpose of this mine was initially to mine feldspar, which they used in their Bonamy cleaners. I think back then, like, quartz was kind of useless. They had a ton of quartz, but they didn't really care about it, so they used to dump it. We need to have a talk. That I don't sounds know. Sounds so serious. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's a good way to start this. But for real, we have some news. We mentioned in our Q&A video. We actually signed up for Amazon's Camper Force warehouse program. So for us, that'll start mid-October and end mid-December of this year. And long story short, yeah, that fell through. From what we've learned, Amazon changed how they did it this year where you need to call and get your own campsite. So that's what we did. We started calling in um, January, February, March. They didn't know about their availabilities. So we waited a few months, called back in May, June, July. Again, they either didn't have availabilities or they weren't sure that far out. It's a week out and we still don't have a spot secured. They kept telling us, call us in October. And we called, everyone was booked. So I don't know how people manage to get spots, but. Uh, I even reached out and contacted the Camper Force support email and I told them our situation and their official advice was to just reapply next year. We were a little disappointed because this was plan A of how we were gonna finance the next year of travel. But we're just gonna embrace it and take it as a sign that it wasn't meant to be. So we're excited, a little bit nervous, but probably way more excited. We toured the biggest mine here this morning and we're gonna go check out a small one before, I don't know what we're gonna do after that. Not the Amazon jobs. Not the Amazon jobs. <laughs> So this is supposed to be the company store and it looks like it's a mining village just kind of compacted into one really small building. A lot of this stuff was originally used in like the 1920s through the 40s but then the mine was flooded in like the 1960s so some of this stuff is decently old. Jimmy do you think I can guess the combination on one of these? Oh. oh. God. You did it. I was connected to something. There is no lock on here. Alright, so we didn't break anything. No. Almost there now. Hang on. Keep getting distracted by all the leaves. I know. Wow, oh my gosh, look at that. Jeez. <laughs> it echoes like from here. I can't quite comprehend how big it is. Like it just kind of hurts my eyes to look at because I can't tell how far away that upper cliff is. It looks huge. It's pretty disorienting, honestly, seeing so much rock above us. I'd love to fly a drone in there. I know. There's probably a ton of bats in there. I feel like we would really disrupt them. <laughs> nah, we'd get along, we'd be friends. I don't know, bats are kind of on my hit list this year. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> like, if dragons were real, I feel like this is definitely where they'd live, right? I was just thinking, like, can you imagine being a kid and stumbling upon something like this? That'd be a pretty fun clubhouse to make though, right? Um, yes. <laughs> are you kidding? That'd be amazing. <laughs> Bye-bye, dragons. So we just pulled up in Little Switzerland, like the heart of Little Switzerland with all the traditional Swiss architecture. We've never been to Switzerland before, so I don't know if we can give it a fair comparison, but we have been to Austria and northern Italy and those mountains were amazing so it's gonna be quite tough to beat it I don't really know for sure what we stumbled into we're walking and we're just suddenly like in this very grassy field Uh, 
Ah, Switzerland. <laughs> like, we just got here. And the first thing we did was go into the woods away from everyone else. It wasn't a very long walk. I can still hear the road very clearly. It's very pretty though. It is pretty. I'm sure parts of Switzerland resemble this because it is hilly. Yeah, I'm sure they have trees there. Yeah, trees and birds and... Cars. <laughs> and cars. <laughs> I guess we should head back. Yeah, let's go get some ice cream. All right. <laughs> I don't know if we're missing something, but um, this place is pretty small. I think it's like a resort town or like pretty much just a resort. It looks nice, but there are signs saying that you can't go in some of the areas if you're not a guest at the resort, so we can't really see all that it has to offer. There is one like alley looking. It's a road, not really an alley, but that's where all the shops are and it looks really cute. Yeah, it is pretty. And there's a really nice view of the mountains that we can kind of see from where we can access. calling to see where we can stay tonight, I'm trying to get permission. We're on hold. Last night we stayed directly under a no overnight parking sign at Walmart, but we, we asked them and they said it was fine, so I they, guess... They said no unauthorized. Yeah, we were authorized, so it was okay. Yeah, it was very official. <laughs> Alright, we're in. <laughs> yeah, she was so nice. She was so nice. She literally just saved us like a 33 minute drive. A sunset drive down the Blue Ridge Parkway in North Carolina just sounds so romantic and really beautiful. And it is, it really is, I swear. But uh, it's a little scary in the bus, especially given all of the mechanical issues we've recently had. I feel like we are really putting it to the test, but we just keep saying to each other, like, I'm so glad that our brakes are in tip-top shape. <laughs> so if you watched our build series, you might have picked up on that our fuel gauge doesn't work and never has. We just count the miles manually. Jimmy's very good with computers, to say the least. Uh, and so he used his skills to make us a little shortcut on our phone and he made like a cute little gas app that helps us keep track of our miles so that we don't have to like write it down. Jimmy, have you put it in yet? Not yet. Ooh, can I see? Maybe see. Yeah, it just kind of helps us record the last time we did a fill up. It's really simple right now, it just records the mileage that we're at and the date that we plug it in and it tells us how far we've gone. So in the future I kind of also want to add like a running miles per gallon recorder um, and maybe like a history chart so we could bring up a tally of like all our old fill ups in the past. But it's kind of fun little side project. That is one side project I am very happy about. It's been really convenient so far, but next stop, Ingalls. All right, we made it to the Ingalls RV park. No hookups and no plumbing, but they do have food. And it's free. <laughs> and it's free, the best type of RV park there is. We've had a pretty long day, um, a lot of driving. So we're gonna take it kind of slow, maybe eat some tacos and kind of wind down for the night. And we'll pick you back up tomorrow. Good morning. We're at Ingalls and we just woke up and got ready for the day. We're in the mood for a hike. So I think we found a good spot and we're gonna go scope that out. We haven't been getting as much solar as we'd hoped since we've been on the road, so Jimmy's checking to make sure that our solar panels are looking okay and that we don't have a broken one from like a stick falling on it. And he says they look good, but uh, one of them's a little muddy. He's cleaning it now, so I'm hoping that'll fix it and we'll get more sun today. I don't know if you can see that, but that's from two solar panels. Jeez. I hope that helps because we're not planning on going to another campsite this week, so we can't really fill up. And 
we've been using more power than we've been getting from the sun the last two days. Like just when it started, yeah. I thought it was fog, but yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I saw it, but I mean, you think it's okay? I don't know what we can do. Okay, it's probably fine if it doesn't keep happening, right? Yeah, that's true. Right, I saw all the white exhaust and I like freaked out a little. Yeah, it's okay. Are we almost out of the bad part? Okay, that's really good. You're doing so good, Jimmy, seriously. Jimmy and I have been together about seven years and this has been a really big dream for two or three of them. So it feels pretty surreal to be here right now. Bird. We just want to find kind of a shady spot to eat lunch. <laughs> Natalie and I used to take walks when we worked at the same building at our jobs and we would walk during lunch and just dream about what we would do if we ever bought a school bus and needless to say I think we're pretty happy with what we chose. <laughs> Living the dream. Do not fall, <laughs> please. What you say? I can't watch you move forward like that. <laughs> <It's> killing me. <laughs> this was supposed to be like the secondary activity we did this week. Yesterday we did the Emerald Village and that was supposed to be the main one. But I think this one might have topped the gym mine. This is the real gym. Gosh. <laughs> You're the real gym. Oh. No, I'm the real gym. You're gym. Oh, yeah. gym. This is a nice view though. This is really nice. It's amazing. Jimmy just picked this place out and I, was, I didn't even really look at it. I was like, all right, if you yeah. want to do that. <laughs> it was the first place I found on the way to our destination and we decided to stop for it. It had really good reviews. I can see why. 